Guys, welcome to another video, although I'm filming it live, and I'm warning you now, this is going to be probably the most boring live stream ever. So what we did here, we put in Shugu and drywall tape onto my brand new Armour Creighton EXB, the Extreme Basher, but I've done this before a few times live. So you're not going to see anything new, guys. If you've seen my other videos where I've been doing this, you're probably going to be completely bored. But the main reason for me making this video is just so that I can do a live stream. We got what the hell is going on here with this with this advert? Get rid of that, and I can see myself. All right, there we go. So the main reason of this live stream is so I can have a little chat with you guys in the comments uh, while I'm just standing here plodding away trying to make this body shell a bit stronger. For those of you that are new, that don't know what I'm doing here, but basically, RC body shells, they're quite brittle. So if you just use them as they are, then it's not gonna to take too long, and they're gonna end up like this. You're gonna crack them, bits are gonna fly off. And these are quite expensive. And if you're gonna paint them yourself, it takes ages. So what I do now, a uh, quick overview, we line the inside of it with this drywall tape. Now this stuff that I'm using is actually the fibre tape. So what ASS Steve told me to get. There you go. Fibre tape. So if you top that into eBay, you will find it. And then I'm using shoe glue to go over the top. Uh, but before we do that, before the shoe glue, I'll get a little bit of hot glue and just tack it into place so it doesn't lift off as we're doing it. So in this video, I'm going to do this part, start putting that on, and then we're probably going to call it a day. So it's probably going to be around about an hour live stream and um, chatting with you guys while I'm wrenching and getting a few questions and stuff and answers and me asking you guys questions as well. So I'm just going to plug you in so that the batteries don't go flat. Bump. And how is everybody doing? Who have we got in the house? Someone's saying, am I going to get the version 2 infraction or the felony? No plan on either of them. I'm planning on getting the handbrake module for my version 1 infraction. So first of all, I'm going to pull off all this stuff on the inside, because this stuff here is actually to protect the body. But, because we're going to be sticking stuff to it, it's probably just going to be getting in the way. So we're just going to get rid of this. Get rid of all that lot. Got Rachel from Cheddar in England. I've never heard of a place called Cheddar. Get all that off of there. Get it all off. Torin says it's midnight in Australia. Kev Jensen says afternoon, Kev. Yes, afternoon. Well, it's afternoon for me. Liam says hello from South Africa. So guys, give me a note in the comments, what RC car should I get next? Most boring videos got 168 views. Yeah, not many viewers today. <laughs> Someone says EXB turnbuckles are bad. Really? They're supposed to be stronger than the first one. Rob says he's putting money down for the felony. Yes, it's an awesome RC car. Someone says lossy laser nut. Super Bar Harvey. Someone says, what's the next modification on the Defender? Probably a suspension kit. And a roll cage. Someone says, Kraken. There's a whole mix of different cars what you guys are telling me to get. So if there's one car that really stands out that everybody keeps telling me to get, then I may well get it. Someone says Creighton 4S. Yes, I'm tempted. Very tempted with that. Really's got one. Really like it. Any plans on a ridiculously powered large boat? I might get a Traxxas boat, but no plans on building a custom build anytime soon. Alright, so next, I want to get these body clips out, look. We'll get these out, and we can always put them back in again later on. Get these out. <laughs> Someone says boat, boat, boat. Maybe. Someone says Traxxas Hoss. I should be getting the Traxxas Hoss tomorrow. Oh, 
God, these are not easy to get out, are they? Yes, tracks it hoss, tracks it hoss, I'm getting it. Someone says, why is slow mode on? Because it stops people keep copying and pasting the same comment over and over and over, ruining the stream. That is why. You can only comment once every 30 seconds. It makes the stream a lot nicer, the comments. Uh, someone says, you have enough. Yeah, I know, I've got enough. But if something cool comes out, and everybody wants me to get it. Uh, it's the YouTube views I can get from the car. I actually make more money a lot of the time than what the car even costs. So sometimes, the more cars I get, the more money we can make. Plus, it's more toys. So why would you, why would you say no to more toys? But I've got to be a bit strategic. I can't just go out and buy everything. Because the more RC cars I buy, the less time I've got to give to the ones that I've already got. Why don't you have any losses? Not really any reason. Oh, what was that? There's not really any reason why I don't have any losses. I guess, I don't know, I've never really taken to them, really. Nothing against them. I probably will get a lossy at some point. Just don't know when. Right, so I'm degreasing. Someone's just getting another laminator. <laughs> Got some sticky residue in there, so if it doesn't come off, we'll just leave it on there. No massively big deal, really. Oh, it is coming off. We are coming off. What about an armor granite? Well, uh, I've already got an outcast, so I want to get the Clayton for us. So, with a granite, it's kind of a bit less than what those two are, so I don't know. A bit pointless, maybe. I don't know. Get the felony. Yeah, I am tempted with it, but it's too much the same as an infection. I've already got an infection. So, as tempting as it is, I should probably get something else. Hey, let's tell me a grasshopper. Hello from Smoky, Colorado. Oh, I hope you lot haven't got too much fires and stuff going on. Are you still in lockdown over there? No, no more lockdown. We only had lockdown for probably about six weeks, was it? I like the green hoss. I think I've got the green one coming. I can't remember. I think it is the green one, though. Get felony, make it a test. We will see. We'll see what it's like on the power it comes with. I mean, overpowering is fun, but sometimes if you go too much, it just makes the car unusable. But we, we may well make the Max A test. I might take the ESC out of my new X Max and put it into that. Very tempted. Lance is in stage four lockdown in Australia. Yeah, your lockdown rules are a bit crazy. Oh, I wouldn't be happy about having those sort of rules. Do you have to wear a mask over there? Um, you're supposed to in shops, but nobody polices it. Oh, oh someone says I can't leave their house only for food. Yeah, I think it sucks. I mean, I'd get it if it really was a really bad virus where like, everybody was dying and hospitals couldn't cope and hospitals were all flooding over. Then I'd get it. Well, they're not, are they? The hospital's empty everywhere. And by locking everything down, you're not stopping anybody from getting it. It just, it just takes longer. Still the same amount of people get it. It just takes longer to get it. So the longer you long it out for, the, the worse that country's economy is going to get. There's still the same amount of people going to die. Probably even more people, actually, because people suffering from depression and hunger and can't get food and losing their businesses. 
I mean, long-term effects of long lockdown is probably going to kill far more people than the virus ever would. You know, people that don't believe it, just look at Sweden. Do more WL toy reviews? Yes, maybe. Next, got it all degreased. Someone goes on about the cases. Yeah, they don't talk about deaths anymore. They're just talking about cases now. A bit funny, isn't it? Surely it's the deaths that matter, and they're not talking about those anymore. EXB in the house, yes. How are we going to go about it? Do the YouTube voice. In this video, we're going to put drywall tape and shoe glue on the Creighton EXP. Subscribe. <laughs> Happy? All right, so drywall tape is going on. Scissors. It's worth doing this guys, I know it's long winded and everything, but these bodies are expensive and they break really, really quickly. So by doing this, you're going to save a lot of time painting bodies, cutting out bodies and you're going to save a load of money by keep, keep buying new ones. Oh, Toby said he's sorry about the GPS helicopter, but it was funny. Yeah, it was hilarious. We were laughing. <laughs> I'll never cry about an RC crash. I mean, crying's not going to fix it, so you might as well laugh. Does Kev and understand Arabic? No, I don't, dude. Hopefully this body's not going to take too long because it's fairly small. When will the 200 mile an hour RC car be finished, somebody says. Don't know, no set date, but more parts have just turned up today. And I'm going to be doing some work on it in a couple of days and then I've got to edit it and film it and all that stuff. But it's kind of like an ongoing project. I mean, it's going to be driving. Hopefully this week it's going to drive. But then I've got no idea how well it's going to work. Also, I've got no rear wing yet. I'm waiting for a company to make me a rear wing. So you're waiting for that. So it should be driving this week. Um, not sure when we can do the 200 mile an hour attempt. It all depends how well the testing goes. And it also depends on finding a suitable location. But, you know, I'll never set myself deadlines, because if I set deadlines, I'm going to end up not enjoying doing YouTube and RC. So it's kind of going to happen when it happens. But as soon as possible, because I really want to do it. I mean, that, that 200 mile an hour RC car build is getting more views than all my other videos. So it is in my best interest to get it done as quick as possible. But at the same time, I'm doing it for fun. So I'm not going to stress out and, and rush it. Jamie says, when am I doing the giveaway? No plans of a giveaway anytime soon because it always leads to problems with people trying to scam me and stuff. So unfortunately, I've kind of knocked giveaways on the head at the moment. It's always a few that spoil it for the masses, unfortunately. So I'd love to do more giveaways, but you know, 
why bother if it just ends up getting scams and all that stuff. So if I can find a way to easily without getting ripped off, then I will be happy to do them again. Someone said, hi, Claire. Oh, we got Claire in the house. How are you doing? So Claire's got a project going on at the moment. She's going to build a new editing PC. Someone says, do you have to engine for the laminator? No, I haven't yet. I should really contact the company and see what's going on. Right, that's that side done. I'm trying to make it look as neat as possible. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Kev, can you do an editing video? Uh, I don't know. I mean, if I, if I put videos on this channel or on the other channel, they've got a kind of, you know, if I'm going to put so much effort into making a video, it's got to get views. And if I make a video of how I edit, no one's going to really watch it. It's not really worth my time, to be honest. Claire says you can't wait for S. FL, what's the SFL? Do you still have Beyblade on the wall? Yeah, that was supposed to be for a little video. And I haven't done the video yet, but maybe we will at some point. Yeah, look, I've got, I've got something over here that's going to get Claire all excited. <laughs> look at that, Claire. <laughs> Is that getting you excited? <laughs> Is that a bit of moisture there? <laughs> bit of moisture there for Claire. Someone said, what motor is it, my TRX4? One of them's got the Castle Mambo X and the other one's got the Hobby Wing X. The Mambo X has got loads more power because it's a high KV and you can run it on 6S. Well, the ESC can, motor. Mm. I'll do it anyway. <laughs> Someone says, moisture for clear. And then the Axe is better for waterproof. So I said, will you get the Summit? Maybe if I get a version two out, possibly. Have I ever had flames coming out of my motor, someone says? Hmm, I don't think so. Is Armour Creighton 6S a good first car? Yeah, sure. I mean, for a first car, it's going to be nice and strong straight out of the box. And if you're going to start going extreme with it, then you can modify it. But if you want to do extreme bashing with it, you do have to do quite a lot of mods. But for normal bashing, they're great. Do you drive your Lambo much? In the summer, not so much in the winter. Why don't you use Castle ESCs? I do. But, well, up until recently, they didn't really make a Max 6 equivalent.
How many miles on the Lambo? I think 2,500. 2,500. Can we get start start up off the Lambo? No, not today. I stink at my workshop and I can't be bothered to open the door. How good is stock Hexmax? Probably one of the toughest RC cars right out of the box. So I've got a stock one and I'm going to leave it stock for a little while just to see how, how well it gets on in stock form. And you know, even my modified one, not much has been done. Max 6 CSC, steel gears, stock diffs. I would say out of the box, the X-Max has got to be one of the best. Someone says I should do a no prep drag car. What's one of those? Time in UK is 3.40 p.m. So this is what about out, Outcast 6S? Yeah, I've got one. I've got one, dude. I don't really use it that much, though, because I prefer the Creighton. Are you still building the orange nitro crawler? Yes! But I've been procrastinating because it's turned into a little bit of a harder project than I first anticipated. So I've got to replan it a little bit. It didn't really quite go to plan. But yes, I still plan on doing it. Eight forty AM in America, someone says. Someone says, has the bed fallen off yet? No, it's still there. <laughs> what is my opinion on the Co-Rally RCs? I've not had one, so I haven't really got an opinion. But they're blatant armour copy. Do you think foams will work on the infraction? Yeah, they'll work. But if you're going to do drifting and stuff with it, you'll probably shred them up pretty quick, I would imagine. All uh, right. Now, which way do we go? That way? Yeah, that way is across. Yes. Um, yeah. Why most boring? Oh, doing this job, what I'm doing here, is one of the most boring jobs known to mankind. And 
I've already done it a few times before in the stream with different cars. So I'm surprised anybody's actually watching. I'm surprised anyone watched it after the first time round. So I can't believe that anybody's actually watching this one. <laughs> How do you spell that drink that you have? It's cacao. I don't know how you spell it. I'm not very good at spelling. <laughs> it's not cocoa, it's cacao. And don't ask me how you spell it. I don't know. If anybody knows how to spell it, feel free to type it in. But I've got no idea. Lance is out. Don't blame me, dude. I'll be out as well watching this nonsense. <laughs> Jonathan says, shows how to spell it. It's not cocoa, it's cacao. Right, I haven't got a clue how you spell it. <laughs> All I know is that it tastes really good, there's no sugar in there, and it's really healthy. Outcast 3S or Typhon 3S? Well, it depends if you want a st stunt truck or if you want a buggy. All depends whichever one floats your boat. Cow cow. <laughs> no, it's not spelled like that. <laughs> Cacao. Something like that. Someone says Creighton or E Rebo. I prefer E Rebo stock or Creighton modified. Someone says UDR or Mojave. I would go with Mojave for bashing and UDR for the scale looks and all the cool suspension movements. Concentration going on here, guys. Outcast AS or X Max? Well, I would go with the X Max personally. But if you want to the track, Creighton, if you want to bash, X Max. Each have got pros and cons. I personally prefer the X Max. What do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer X Max or Creighton? Traxxas or FTX? Traxxas for quality, FTX for cheapness. Someone said X Max all the way. Why don't they already reinforce the body? Someone says probably because there's loads and loads of work involved doing it. And secondly, if the body didn't break, they wouldn't sell any. They probably make quite a lot of money off the bodies, because I would imagine they're quite cheap to make. They only vacuum for them, there's not much work involved. There's probably some good profits to be made on these bodies. So if they made them indestructible, they're not going to make any money off the bodies anymore. What was in the armor box in the last video? Oh, I can't remember because I actually filmed that unboxing a few weeks ago. So I think it was probably the Outcast 8S or this, this crate in here. A lot of people thought it was a felony in there, but it isn't. <laughs> What 
What upgrade do you do to the infection? My infection stock, although I have done the Scorched RC in our wheel arches or fenders, whatever you want to call them. This traction's building a new platform out of the X Max. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. What kind of tape is that? This is drywall tape. Have ever done any RC sailing? I haven't. I have not. Don't upgrade something if it doesn't break, as Kev says. Well, you can if you want to, you know. If, if you want to put nice shiny bits on there, you can. But for me, I just want to upgrade my RC car so it bashes better. So, you know, so it's faster or more durable. So some upgrades are just pointless and... Personally, I don't like putting upgrades on just for the hell of it. To me, if it's not broke, don't fix it. What oil do you use for your bearings? I use ZXT, or ZXT for the Americans out there. You get yourself one of those that will last you for years. I've had the same bottle for about, well, this one here. I bought this one for probably over 10 years ago. And it's still got quite a lot in there, look. And I put a lot of that into one of those little mini engines. <laughs> so you get yourself one of those. It will last you for years if you don't waste it. Someone says, in my opinion, what's the worst RC car that I own? I don't know. I have no idea. The worst RC car that I've had, though, is a Thunder Tiger EK4. That was the worst RC car I've ever had. That thing was awful. But worst car now, I don't know. I don't think I've got any that I don't like. I think I like them all. Please make more fixing vids. Yeah, well, most of my fixing I do on, on live. So as stuff breaks, there's more videos. But if you mean doing fixing vids on the main channel, I don't know, they're so time consuming. I mean, I'll do it a little bit in the winter, but so much time goes into making those videos and nobody really watches them. Midas is going to run his rustler after this, nice. There's an Andy, the Andy, TRX4 in blue. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Slightly different body though, I've got the van body. And that one is the um, civilian one, or whatever it's called, one where you put people in it. 
Andy's a van. Someone says, what is better, plastic or metal chassis? They've each got their place. I mean, for racing, they tend to lock the metal chassis. For bashing, normally plastic, I would say, is stronger. I mean, if your chassis is made out of proper stuff, like this one here is made out of 7075, then metal's fine. But if it's made out of cheap metal, then I would say plastic. But then saying that, some plastic chassis that are cheap and break easy. So it all depends. It all depends on the quality. That's good in both. But personally, I would say I've had much better results with plastic chassis. With the X-Max, for example, I've had X-Maxes for four years, maybe even coming up five years. And I've only ever broken one. No, two chassis. In like four years or five years, whatever it was. Whilst with plastic chassis, with the metal chassis, every crating I've had, I've bent the chassis straight away. I've got other RC cars with metal chassis and they're all bent. I don't think I've had a single RC car but the chassis is not bent. Phil says, oh my chassis are made of monkey metal. Yeah, they are. Where is your armor fury? Oh, that's upstairs. I should actually, that reminds me, I should ask Banggood for a brushless system to put into that. That's what I was gonna do, but I forgot. <laughs> Should I convert my Rustler to a brushless combo? Somebody said, yes, absolutely. Probably be the best upgrade you can do. Why is it so hot? I don't know. Wow, this is boring, says Adam. Yes, I know. I know it's boring and I'm surprised anybody's watching it. But you guys are watching it. So if you guys want to watch it, I'll film it. Do I figure myself as a perfectionist? No, not really. I mean, some things I'll try and get it nice. Definitely not a perfectionist. I mean, if you look at my speed car build, there's a lot of cowboy action going on on there. Well, I'd, I'd say I'm about average. I'm not a complete cowboy, but I'm definitely not a perfectionist. So this tracks as hostile armor felony. The thing is, guys, you, that's completely comparing two different cars altogether. It all depends which one you want. If you want to go on road, get the felony. If you want to bash, get the hoss. I mean, that's an impossible question. I start saying what's better, a Formula One car or, or a monster truck. It depends what you want to do with it. Monster truck's better for jumping. Formula One car's better around the track. Can't really compare them. Which one's best for you is whichever one puts the biggest smile on your face. End of the day. But only you can really make that decision. Do you smoke? Nope, I do not smoke.
Can you do this with a heli canopy? I don't know, but I'm going to do it to mine. I'm definitely going to do it to my one and see if it helps. I know heli canopies are expensive and they explode when you crash. How is the land hunting? Well, I'm looking, not really much is coming up. It's got to be fairly perfect. So I'd rather wait a bit longer to get the perfect place than to rush into something and it's the wrong place. Plus, I think there's probably going to be a recession looming. So property prices are probably going to go down. So I'll be better off just waiting for a couple of months and see what happens. Maybe do it to helicopter blades. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't think that would work. Helicopter blades is one thing where you cannot be a cowboy. If helicopter blades are damaged, just, just throw them away. Not worth it. You can take an eye out. You could even kill yourself. So I wouldn't mess about with helicopter blades, personally. Have you ever had a lossy, someone says? Yes, I have. I had a lossy 8 when the lossy 8 first came out and I used to race it. But I didn't get on very well with it because I didn't know how to set it up and I had nobody to help me. Before that, I had a Mugen MBX5, and I used to do pretty well with that. I used to win quite a lot of races. I used to race back in the day, but now I just bash because the racing's too serious for me. I like just messing around. I've, I've lost count, guys, how many tracks, how many clubs I went to, and I got banned. I got banned. I got kicked out of so many clubs because they just, they're just so serious. You know, I, I want to bash more, and they just want to be all serious about it, and... Yeah, not for me personally. You know, if people like the seriousness, fair enough, but not for me. Hey, Steve O'D in the house. How you doing, Broski? Yes, helicopter no longer has blades. <laughs> What is the best crawler? I would say, from what I've used so far, TRX4. But the new Axial ones look good. So I am half tempted to get one, actually, and do a little comparison. Right, boom, here we go. Check it out, look. So we've got all the drywall tape in there. Next, I should have really done this a minute ago, I forget every time. Plug in the hot glue gun. I've not seen any, anybody else use a hot glue gun on this, but I think it's a great idea. Because if you now go ahead, especially if you've got cheaper drywall tape, because this stuff's actually pretty sticky, but some stuff doesn't stick at all. And once you start putting on the shoe goo, it's going to start sliding about, and all this drywall tape's going to start moving around. And it's all going to start lifting up. All the corners are going to start lifting, especially we have got loads of iron. You're going to be fighting to get it all to stick. It's all going to be lifting. You're going to be adding more glue. You're going to waste a load of glue, and you're just going to be angry, and you will never want to do it again. The first time I did it, that's what happened, and I said I'm never doing it again. But then I thought, well, what if I get a hot glue gun and just go over it gently, just to hold, just to hold it down. Then we go over it with this. And that actually works really well. Holy cow! That didn't take long, proceeds. I'm getting quicker if that was aimed at me, that question or comment. So I'm actually planning on taking this out 
uh, tomorrow, I think. And I'm getting host tomorrow. And I've got my brand new snacks to play with. When comes a new video about the world's fastest RC car, said someone. Uh, update video tomorrow, working on it in a few days, because I've had a load of parts turn up. What do you make of Arma, Arma Mojave? Before, I wasn't that interested really. I thought, meh, I've got a UDR, I've got buildings for bashing, what's the point? But I saw them at Paddlesworth and oh my god, they take a beating. So yes, I wouldn't mind getting one actually. Max 6 or Mamba X8S? I'll tell you what, I want to I wanna try the Mamba X8S. I want to give it a go, so I don't know, but I've got no complaints with the um, Max 6 at all. Where is your Banggood crawler? I've got loads of them up here, look. Loads of Banggood crawlers over there, look. That's my favourite one. That one there. The front motor RGT. There might be a link to it in the description, maybe, I don't know. But, what is in the description, guys, is a link to my favourite charity, Great Ormond Street Hospital for Sick Kids. I used to be a truck driver. I used to deliver to that hospital. Special place in my heart. So if any of you guys feel like you want to donate to me, don't give it to me. Give it to my favourite charity, Great Ormond Street. And the link is right down below, first line of the description box. Broken rear diff? Nope. I shimmed them all up. So I think it should be good. What's the fastest you go with, with your Lambo? <laughs> I'll let you guys do some guessing on that before. UK speed limit is 70 mile an hour. So I did 70. What, what do you guys reckon? How fast do you guys reckon I've been with it? I asked it before and some people said 200, some people said 50. <laughs> Where's the all carbon crawler? Uh, which one was it? That one, and that one, and that one. <laughs> so I said 120, 145. Hundred, one twenty. It will do. It will do flat out over two hundred. Oh, someone's got a hundred two hundred and seventeen in the Lamborghini. Was that an Aventador? I know the Aventadors have got a little bit more top end, but less acceleration. All right, let's start tacking it down. So I'm literally just going around all the edges. And I'm holding the hot glue point blank, point blank to the body. And I'm just putting on there bare minimum, just enough, just to hold down the drywall tape. The less hot glue you can get on there, the better. So every, every, every edge of tape, put it on there. Every little corner, indentation, especially like a convex bend like here, make sure you get it on there. Once you start getting shoe glue on there, it's all gonna start lifting. So all, all the hot glue does is just hold it there until the shoe goes set. And when you've got overlap like we've got here, look, where there's a few pieces overlapping, you really want to make sure that that is held down because that's going to start lifting once you get glue on there. And you're going to cry. It's going to be a bad day for you. About the crashed helicopter someone says yeah I'm, I'm gonna fix it it's not too bad there's only a couple of links and some blades so we're gonna fix it I think the problem was I think the blades weren't balanced so where it was all shaking it made the gyro misbehave so I'm gonna get some better blades for it probably gonna get the align blades because they're pretty good out the packet and then all it needs is a couple of links so damage wise it's done really good and it should actually tip over by, it's, it's, it's got a switch on there so you can fly it upside down automatically. 
and we did try it, it didn't work, but apparently you need to take it over 10 meters high and then it'll work. So was it getting tracked as funny car, maybe? Have you done quarter mile with a Lambo? No, not yet, I want to. Still plan on doing it with the RC cars, racing one against it. I've been procrastinating, but yeah, we'll have to do it at some point. Yes, it's all coming out good, boys. Why do you struggle flying drones? I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, everyone says they're easier than helicopters. But I find helicopters quite easy. I do struggle with the drones, no idea why. Maybe you guys can tell me, why do I struggle with the drones? What am I doing wrong? How much heavy does it make the, the body? Um, not too much. It does add a little bit. If you're a racer, don't do it. You know, if every gram counts, definitely don't do it. But as a basher, I don't know. It's any difference when you're driving. I mean, it's a lot lighter than an indestructible body, I would imagine. So I definitely wouldn't worry about the extra weight. It's not enough to, to matter. Put it that way. Not for bashing. But well, I'll be happy to weigh it afterwards. I mean, that'll probably be tomorrow or the day after. I might do a live stream of bolting it back together. And then I'll be happy to weigh it. Kev, I think the Lambo will do 13 second quarter mile. No, 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 no. More like 10 seconds, dude. It's one of the fastest quarter mile cars you can buy. I think about the only thing that will beat it is probably like a 720S and a, uh, and a Dodge Demon. But they won't beat it by much. It's one of the quickest quarter mile cars that you can buy. It's one of the reasons why I got it. Because a lot of fast cars. So remember guys, when you've got the overlap, especially corners, make sure you've got it tacked down all the way around because I promise you guys, it's going to start lifting off and you will be angry. You'll be wasting loads of sugar, you'll be keep pushing it down, it'll be lifting up, you'll be pulling your hair out.
think that covers it for the most part. Double checking all the corners, just making sure we definitely got all the corners. On the X-Max body, I did miss a tiny bit and it kept lifting. Oh, good job we did check, because the front, I haven't done it at all. Have you used the EXB yet? Yes, I have. If you go over to Vinny's live stream, you will see a little video on there. But only on road, you done a speed run with it. Not bashed it yet, but planning on bashing it tomorrow. Definitely guys, pay special attention to all the overlappage. Any overlappage, make sure you got it tacked down. You don't put too much on there though, because the hot glue is not as strong as this stuff. So if you put too much on there, then this stuff's not going to do its job. So you only want bare minimum hot glue, but just enough to hold it down. Would you come to Australia? I would, but not anytime soon. I'm in business mode at the moment. I'm just working most of the time. And if I go anywhere, it will be America. <laughs> oh, pardon me, how rude. stuff on. Kev, do you have a wife? No, I don't. Ah. Should I do a hobby wing for my brushless? Yeah, why not? Hobby wing's good. Someone says my X-Max didn't come out that nice. Yeah, you probably didn't hoot, you probably didn't do the hot glue. If you skip on the hot glue, it's gonna be a mess. So now I'm gonna put a glove on, spread in some of that shoe goo stuff. It should come out lovely. Bit of luck. Do more cheap videos. Yes, I've got some couple of cheap ones coming out. So it's not boring, quite relaxing. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. Ah. Finish me cacao drink and then we'll go outside and do a bit of sugar in. I'm actually waiting on a call from the insurance company. So um, if they call up, I'm gonna have to end the stream early. And they, they could be ringing any minute. <laughs> Can we see Raminator? Yes, you can see Raminator. Right, so I need that. I need comments. We've got the comments there. Uh, let's turn off all this power here. And I think anything else that I need is next door, I believe. So we've got the comments, we've got the body. What else do we need? Glue, gloves. Oh, <laughs> what happened down there? Oh no, we're not prepared. We've got all the, there's the Raminator look. 
We've got to clear a little bit up here. We've been playing with engines. So let's get these, get these little engines out of the way. This is the one that we're going to do a video on soon. This one's got a clear cylinder head look. Look at that in there, look, you see the piston go up and down. All the valves moving. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, LiPo, should be in the LiPo safe, naughty me. Leaving a LiPo next to petrol, gasoline and nitro. Bad idea. Put that in there. How many engines do you have? Well, there's three of them there, and I've got another two of them in there, and I've got another one coming as well. Another two coming, I think, actually. So, yeah. I do have a slight engine addiction. <laughs> All right, get some of this stuff out of the way. Need to have a little tidy up. It's a bit of a mess in here. Bit of a mess. Ugh, bog roll. All right, donk him down there. We'll donk the comments up here. There we go, we've got the comments. What is your real looking RC? I don't know what you mean, dude. No idea what you mean. Should we get some fresh air in? Might actually do it outside if it gets too fumy. How many drills do you have? Oh, I don't know. I've got, well, I've got that brushless drill there, and then I think I've got six hugger duggers and a cordless screwdriver. Can we see the Lambo? Yeah, there you go. Get the old glovey John. This stuff stinks, man. I hate doing it. <laughs> Let's try and get it done quickly. So when you put this stuff on, you want to start in one corner. Make sure that's done before you move on to the next corner. So I'm just going to start off here and just work my way around. If you just do a bit there, a bit there, a bit there, you're going to forget where you left off and you're just going to end up wasting a load. Can we see inside the Lambo? Remind me later. Not now, because I'm doing this, but if you remind me later, then yes. Man, this stuff stinks. It's gonna get high again now. Do you like the UDR? Yes, I love it. One of my favorite RC cars. Absolutely love it. Not for bashing, but for the scale driving, the seal suspension moving, absolutely epic. Man, this stuff stinks. Why don't you buy an RC drag car? Not really anywhere to use it, dude. But well, maybe one day. Do you think this mod is worth the time? Yes, I do. Because if you've got to paint a new body every time, it's going to take longer. And this makes the body last for ages doing this. So I think long term wise, you're going to save yourself loads of time. If you buy a pre-cut body, then yeah, I suppose. But you know, I've, I've, I've destroyed brand new bodies on the first outing multiple times. So I think it's definitely worth it. You're going to enjoy the hobby more as well if you're not always worrying about destroying a brand new body. I'm addicted to RC cars, but don't own one. Oh, dude, you're going to have to get one then. I know when I was a kid and I wanted to save up for my first one, it took me a couple of years, but it was so worth it in the end.
When is Armour Limitless video coming? There's an update video coming tomorrow, I believe. And then I'm going to do some work on it this week. And maybe even get it driving this week. But it's only going to be a, it's only going to be a test run. It's not, we're not going to really do a proper speed run because I've got no wing on it. But I'm hoping to get it driving. That's the plan. But there's no promise. Don't hold me to it. Where is the RC Hummer? Oh, well that is upstairs. I wish that would stay there. Uh. Ah. Uh, uh, what can we have to put there? Hold on guys, I'm just trying to find something to put here, because it keeps sliding over, it's making it ten times more difficult. No, too big. There we go, that's easier, I think. Hey, XX just received his JLB Cheetah and he loves it, nice one. Drop laminator from a drone. <laughs> no idea what drone would pick it up. I can barely pick up the laminator. So I've got no idea what drone would even think of picking it up. Oh, someone says X Max roof skids, ten dollars. Yes, I've ordered some. There's none in England, so I had to order it from Germany. But yes, definitely worth doing. Ramp Lambo. <laughs> How can I get some of your stickers, someone says. If you click on the link down below, there's a m link to my merch, and there you will see stickers. But there's only a small selection, so I will be working on some new stickers soon. Do more videos with the RC Hummer? Yeah, I do. Maybe I'll take it with me to Paddlesworth and take it around their corner track. So where the body holes are, I'm going to put more of this stuff around there just to make sure that it's really strong. There's always the body holes that pull through. So we can put a little bit extra around there. I'm pushing it down so that we really make sure it's stuck to the body. And then I'm going to leave it a bit thicker as well. Just go over it a little bit and just make sure that we've got more of the shoe goo on there. It's always around the body holes where they die, these bodies. Also, they always crack along the back here, so I'm going to put extra shoe glue along there. Beautiful.
Can you give us a look at the armor limitless, someone says. Uh, yeah, if I remember at the end of the stream, let me get this done. And then we'll have a little peeky. Thanks for all that you do. Love my Max, says Eric. Nice one, dude. Thank you for everybody for standing by me, watching the videos and thumbing up and commenting and all that stuff. Dude, what tape do you use? It's drywall tape and my particular one is fibre tape. But you can use any drywall tape or the mesh stuff. You just want to make sure that you hold it down with a hot glue before you do the, dry, the shoe glue in, otherwise it's all going to lift off. Thoughts on Hoss? I don't know. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. How do you pronounce T? Just T. <laughs> Someone said, oh yes, Kev on a Sunday, Monday afternoon, Hey, Someone said, can I do a bash session with the Outcast and the Creighton 4S? Yeah, I mean, Vinny's got the Outcast 4S, I've got the... No, Vinny's got the Creighton 4S, I've got the Outcast. So I'm sure that could be arranged. Any e Revo videos coming soon? Um, maybe. I mean, I've got none planned, but I uh, can't see why not. Get a hoss, says Amy. I am. Tomorrow. Hopefully. If it turns up. It's 2 a.m. in Australia. Ah, what body is this for? This is for my Creighton EXB. Someone says Hoss or Minimax. Don't know. I've had the Hoss yet, but I'm guessing I'm going to prefer the Minimax. EXB versus my Ultimate Creighton. I'm guessing my Ultimate Creighton is going to be better. But time will tell. EXB does look like a really good piece of kit. I'm really happy about it. But the only, the only, if I'm going to be nitpicky, I would have liked to have seen them use a four millimeter chassis. They've only gone for three millimeter. I mean, they've used 70, 75, and that's epic. I'm over the moon. I've actually gone with a decent material, but it's three millimeters. So the M2C chassis is still going to be stronger. Why does Kev not respond ever? Because there's too many comments, dude. I can't read them all. There's too many comments to respond to everyone's, I'm afraid. So usually, if I respond to a comment, it's, it's new comments, or if it's a comment that's easy to read. If you write like a big essay, it's more difficult to read, and I'll go for a comment that's a lot shorter. So the shorter the comment, the more likely I am to answer it. But you guys are more than welcome to chat amongst yourselves. Looks like it's gonna rain outside. What's the body? It's for the Creighton EXB. Look at 
Looks like it's going to rain in a minute. What are we waffling on about today? We're waffling about sorting out this body. Any random comments? Right, back in a sec, just got to turn the light on. It's getting dark. Boom, we have lightage. And the fumes are starting to get to my head. So I want to try and get it over and done with as quick as possible. What scale is the raminator? The raminator is one fifth scale. Next video, when? Tomorrow is an update video. Reinforce X Max body or indestructible? I don't know. I've only just reinforced my X Max body. I'm guessing that indestructible will probably be stronger, but they just look ugly. So, and because I'm a YouTuber, nice bodies get more views. Ugly bodies don't really get the views. So that is why now I'm reinforcing the standard bodies because they look so much nicer. So hopefully this is the best of both worlds. I mean, on the Minimax, I've done this to the Minimax body and it's still almost perfect. Will you have kids, Kev, says someone. Ah, oh, I've got no plans on ever wanting kids, dude. I mean, you can never say never. I mean, if, if one day I've reached all my dreams, who knows? But at the moment, it's the last thing on my mind. I really do not want any kids. That would really chuck a spanner in the works for me, that would. Someone said about Gorilla Tape. Yeah, it's not strong. It's a lot easier, a lot quicker, but Gorilla Tape is nowhere near as strong. This is pretty much permanent. So I know when my crater went before, it all went around in this area. So around that area, I'm going to pay a bit of extra attention all around here looks where the last body went so I'm going to put I've got a little bit more tape in that area and I'm also going to be putting more shoe glue on there so the first layer really pushing in so it really goes through and attaches itself to the body and then I'm going to go over it again a little bit more gently just to get a little bit more on there What's someone going on about taking over my channel? No one's taking over my channel. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. I've got no time for any of that at the moment. I've got too many dreams, too many ambitions. That would just chuck a spanner in the works. You know, all that stuff can come later on. Ah, look, there's a bit I didn't glue down. Now it's starting to lift. I forgot to hot glue that bit. Oh, and the rain has started. Flex seal over Gorilla Tape, said someone. I've not tried that, so I don't know. But there is someone that actually did a whole test on what works best. And he reckoned drywall tape, uh, shoe glue over the top of that, and then flex seal. But I'm going to skip the flex seal because it's difficult to get in the UK. And it's probably going to add a load of weight to it. And I've been really happy with shoe glue and drywall tape. It's just a little bit long winded, that's the only downside. What part of the UK do you live in? Near London.
Not in London, but right on the outside. Do you want a girlfriend? Not at the moment, dude. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. If I had a girlfriend, she would just get in the way, probably. Unless, you never know. If the perfect one came along, and it would actually support what I'm doing, then possibly it could be good. Who knows? But I'm definitely not looking. Everything's going good. I'm reaching goals. Everything is going well at the moment. I don't want anything to get into the way. I don't want nothing to stop me, what I'm doing. So, you know, I'm not looking, but if the perfect one comes along, I'm not going to turn her away at the same time. But I'm happy single. More than happy single. And even if I died single, I don't care. I'm happy. Do you like where you live? Yeah. Yeah. Is it pre-painted or did you do it? Ah, this is pre-painted, so it come. Now it's hammering it down out there, look at this. Look at that, look at the beautiful English weather. Look at that, ah, getting soaked. <laughs> Claire is your new girlfriend. No, Claire's already married to Ian. <laughs> Claire's more like a sister. Kev just got 700,000 subs. Way, nice one. Celebration. <laughs> I mean, to me, the biggie is a million subs. When I started YouTube, I thought it was an impossible goal to get a million subs and it was kind of like my dream to get to a million subs. And now we're getting close. It looks like we could even possibly do it this year. I never thought that many people would want to watch a man-child playing with RC cars, but I don't know. What do they do? Do you have a Raptor? I've got a Raptor helicopter. It's Alex plays. It's Congratulated me on 700k. Thanks, dude. I appreciate the support of you guys so much. You don't believe. you got so many people into the hobby. Always be grateful for that. Oh, thank you, dude. I mean, this is such a great hobby. I mean, I always try and get people out with a hobby, you know, you meet new friends, it gets you away from the TV, it gets you away from the PlayStation, and it gets you out having fun in real life with real people. You learn about wrenching. It's just a great hobby. I mean, I, I love this hobby, man. The rain sounds heavy, yeah, it is. We've got a metal roof on the building, so that's probably making it sound worse. See, look there, we forgot. We forgot to put a bit of hot glue on there and it keeps lifting a little bit. But that's the only bit, so it's not too bad. Imagine if I'd have done it to the whole body, no, no hot glue, and all of it was lifting as I'm doing it. Oh, man. Do you prefer e Revo or, or Minimax, said someone? Oh, definitely Minimax. I'm slightly disappointed with the e Revo. I mean, I'm not saying anything bad about it because so some people love them so much, but I think I've just been unlucky with it. There's so many problems with it that now, if I want to go out bashing, it's not one that I pick up. I'll pick up the Minimax, X-Max, Creighton, CRX4, UDR, but E-Revo, nah, don't know, not fully my cup of tea. Is this the new Creighton? Yes, it's an EXP. Can I bring the copter to your house and cut the grass? <laughs> That'd be fun.
So we've got the body post holes there again, so I'm going to make sure that I put a little bit of extra around the holes. Man, the rain is heavy. Could you double it up so it's stronger? I mean, I'm sure you could, but I'm trying to compromise it so it's not too heavy. And so far, one layer for me has worked perfectly. What ESC were you putting the UDR? My UDR's got a Max 6 in it. Because I was going to run it on AS for a bit of fun, but I haven't actually got around to doing it yet. But that's still on the cars, I do want to try it. Someone says they've got to love the question and answer Shugu videos, yeah. I mean, if I was doing this on my own, I'd be, I would be absolutely bored. So you guys are actually half keeping me sane. Oh, have we got somebody creepy in the stream? Don't be creepy, people. It's not good to be a creep. Is it raining over there? Yes, it's hammering it down. Do more vids on drift car. I'll tell you what, I need to get on on the case to Banggood and actually ask them for one. Should do that after the stream, actually. Banggood, can I have a drift car, please? <laughs> Jensen, Jason said he's a creep, but only on occasion. <laughs> Would I recommend the slash? Would I recommend the slash ultimate? Yes, good car. I, I would say the only thing you really need to upgrade on that are the drive shafts. Motor and ESC for EXB. Probably a hobby wing combo is a good one. I mean, I've opted for a Max Six ESC and a TP motor for this build. Oh, we've got trailer trash in the house. How you doing? Is the C24 WPL any good? I'm not that good on the names, but I did do a WPL video and the one that I built was actually really good. Very impressed. When's today's video? No video today, dude. Only the live. Only the live, oh. Of me getting high on bloody shugu. I hate the smell of this. Do the YouTube voice. In this video, we are putting shugu on an RC body. And Kev gets high on glue. Nearly done. 
We're nearly done, guys. Can you buy a carbon fiber body? I wouldn't, dude. Uh, if you did, it would probably explode when you crash. It definitely wouldn't last long. I would strongly advise against it, unless you want to do it for a shelf queen. Ah, finger went through. That's awful when that happens to toilet paper. <laughs> Get a new glovey, John. Where's the cross country upstairs? Oh, that's upstairs. Try and do the tiny voice. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. What is everybody up to? Well, I am. It's boiling in the UK up north. Really? It's pouring it down here. Yep, yeah, bit of glovage. Bit of glovage on the case. So I'm putting extra glueage around the body holes. When am I planning to bash at the skate park again? Possibly tomorrow. Possibly. Obviously it's weather dependent. I should be getting the host tomorrow. So the plan was to get the host, unbox it and take it to a skate park. But you know, it doesn't always go to plan that way. So just because that's the plan doesn't actually mean that's what's gonna happen. Why do I call a £400 RC car dirt cheap? Well, because compared to an X-Max, it is dirt cheap. It's all relative. $50,000 Rolls Royce, dirt cheap. A $5 million super yacht, dirt cheap. It's all relative, you know, just because, you know, like to me, a super yacht is expensive, but a $5 million one still cheap, you know, in relation to other ones. So everything is relative. So a $400 RC car or pound RC car, I mean, for an RC car, that's cheap. Is Notorious any good? Yes. Is Lambo dirt cheap? Well, depends. If you get like a, a 70,000 pound Gallardo, then yeah, that's a dirt cheap Lambo. I mean, maybe not cheap in general, but for a Lambo, yeah. You can get cheap Lambos and expensive ones. It's dirt cheap for the hobby, yes. Oh, this is stinking, man. I'm getting dizzy. Right, I'm just going over it now, making sure that we've got it on everything. I think I've got all of it. Oh, missed a bit there. Is the Hyper VS tough? Yes. I mean, they've got a... Uh... A stock chassis will bend, but you can get a 70-75 chassis for it, but yeah, they're tough. Just making sure we've got all of it, guys.
This isn't even boring at all. Oh, thanks, dude. I thought, because I've done this so many times now, that people will get bored of it, but... Yeah, if some of you guys find it entertaining, you know, if one person finds it entertaining, then it's worth filming, isn't it? Because I'll just be here doing this on my own board with no one to talk to, so... Having you guys to chat with... keeps me sane. Get in there, nearly done, nearly done. Why don't you buy a Ferrari or a Bugatti? Because the Bugattis are millions, and I haven't got spare millions laying about around. And with Ferrari, I prefer Lambo, even though I would like a, I would like a Pista. But as in everything in life, you can't have everything. The stuff that I would rather buy than a Pista, I'd rather have an SVJ, for example. You're getting a lot cleaner at taping. Yeah, I think I am. As with anything in life, it's all practice, practice, practice. The more you do it, the better you get. And, you know, I believe I'm getting better at doing it. I mean, if you get worse and worse and worse, then you've got a problem. But, you know, if every time you do something, you get better, great. Who is your favourite YouTuber? I would say V2Vids. Uh, oh, Whistling Diesel, he's good. Show us inside the Lambo, someone says, yeah, in a minute, once I've got this done, I'm just making sure I haven't missed any parts. I think I've got it, I've got most of it for the most part. You've got most of it. I'm not bored, but nice, someone says, he. We've got less viewers than normal, we've got 325 people viewing. And on the more interesting streams, we normally get about 700 nowadays, so... We get less viewers, but it doesn't matter. I'll get to chat with you guys. So all is good. I think we're almost... I think we're pretty much done. I think we're pretty much done. Right, I'm going to call it, I think. Yeah, I think we're good. Put that stinky lid back on. What's the drying time? Eh, it's starting to go tacky already, look. When I first took the lid off, look, it's all going tacky. So, uh, you, if you put it on, probably two hours you can use it. Do you watch RC Fox gold mining, said someone? Uh, a little bit, not too much. A little bit, though. I watch all of his bashing videos, most of his crawling videos, a bit of gold mining. Yeah, I watch some of them, but it's not, it's not really... Fully my sort of thing. Do more videos off Andy off road. Yes, definitely. Which TP motor's going in the EXB? Is it a 4070? No, it's it's about 10 millimeter longer than the stock one. Where can you get unbreakable body for the X Max? RC Maniacs. Uh, find it on YouTube. Oh, no, Facebook. Uh. Ah, all right. Luggage off. Do you prefer Ford or Chevy? I like both. YouTube gold, baby, someone said. This video's not boring. Haha, <laughs> thanks, dude. Right, luggage off. We can leave that there to dry. If I've missed a bit, I'm going to do it another day. I can't be asked to do it now. Right, somebody said they wanted to see inside the Lambo. So we'll do that. If you're still watching, then I hope you're watching. If you're not, then you're not. There you go, that's the inside. There we go, there we go. Look, 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 all that there. There we go, happy? Right, but anyway, guys, 
Oh, hold on. I will quickly show you the 200 mile an hour car. Someone said about that. So here's a 200, well, I'm planning to make it go 200 mile an hour. And there's an update video about this coming out tomorrow. Uh, but basically we've got more parts turned up. We've got radio, ESCs, foam tires. Um, I still need to get a custom made wing, which I'm talking with a couple of companies, if they can make me one. And it should, hopefully all being well, it should be driving to, like this week, like moving. Uh, we're not going to be sitting any records because I won't. I definitely won't have the wing done. I mean, first run, it's probably going to be running it like that. But um, yes, possibly this week we're going to get it out. But I can't promise anything. It's only a possibility, guys. You know, as I said, I never, I never like to give myself deadlines because then if I put deadlines down, I start sort of stressing out and stuff, and then it's not really a hobby anymore. And I do, I do. You know, YouTube does pay me well, but I do it mainly as a hobby. So, you know, there's other things that make money quicker, like eBay and stuff like that. But YouTube's just so much more fun. So that's why I give all my energy to YouTube. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I'm glad some of you guys didn't find it boring. Uh, here's the EXP look. There's going to be a video about that soon. There's the TP motor. So video about that very soon. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys very soon in a different video. And I need some fresh air because I'm feeling dizzy with all of that bleeding shoe goo that I've just breathed in. Uh, so next time I should do it outside, but it was raining. Hi right, guys, see you soon. Ta-ta! Bye!